Okay, so uh, welcome back to our second uh, Visby Blender video tutorial. Um, in our in the first tutorial, we finished setting up some user preferences uh, to enable us to work more easily with uh, laptops and uh, two or one button mouses. So um, now that we've set our preferences, we want to make sure that we save these as uh, the default so that we don't have to come back and set these every time we open up Blender. So we can save these settings by clicking on the Save as Default button down here at the bottom of this window, or alternatively we can open up the File menu and click on uh, Save User Settings. The uh, shortcut key is also Control u Okay. Now uh, let's switch back to our, our main window, back to the 3D view, so we can get started uh, with working in 3D. Now, uh, you'll notice that our 3D view contains the default objects of a cube, uh, a camera, and a lamp. Now, these are basically the essential, uh, uh, the bare essentials for creating a rendered scene in Blender. We need a camera to capture the simulated light bouncing off of objects in our scene. We need a lamp to shine uh, the light onto our objects. And, of course, we need an object like our cube to bounce light from the lamp back into the camera to create a rendered scene. Uh, we can see right away what this looks like uh, by uh, creating our first rendered scene. We can do this by clicking on the image button under the in the image uh, render panel over to the right uh, or alternatively we can select render image from under the render me menu at the top uh, the top menu bar. So go ahead and uh, select one of those and what it'll do is it'll render our image of our cube. And uh, it does so, uh, when it does so, it actually opens up a new window, uh, window type, which we haven't seen yet, which is the uh, UV image editor. And so this allows us to look at our rendered scene. Uh, if we want to save this, we can uh, go ahead and click on the image uh, button at the bottom, click on save as, uh, and we can select whatever uh, type of um, select uh, directory that we want to save this to. I'll just leave it saved as an untitled. Save it to my desktop. And then uh, we can go ahead and check the desktop. And uh, here we go. Here's the untitled image. And here it is. There's our cube. So that's the uh, first basics of rendering a scene in Blender. Okay, so now let's uh, actually try navigating through our uh, 3D scene. So uh, we'll pull Blender up again. Now to get back to our 3D window again, we come down to the window selector, uh, click on the button, pull up the menu, and select 3D view. Now we should be back in our 3D viewport. Now uh, you'll notice we haven't really changed our perspective of the 3D view, uh, so we can't really get a look around at things. So uh, we have basically three ways to adjust our views of the scene. Uh, orbiting, panning, and zooming. Uh, orbiting can be accomplished by clicking and dragging the middle mouse button of a three-button mouse, or if you've chosen to emulate a three-button mouse, you can orbit by holding the Alt key while left-clicking and dragging the mouse. Now you should be able to get that working so that you can just kind of uh, move your scene around, centered around a certain common point. Uh, next, we want to um, hold Shift while holding the mouse, the middle mouse button, um, or Shift-Alt and the left mouse button, and this will allow us to pan. Uh, or alternatively, zooming can be accomplished by Control and middle mouse button, or Control-Alt, left mouse button, and we can pull the scene closer to us or push it away. Uh, okay, so those are the basic functionalities of navigating through the 3D scene. Uh, play around with them and get comfortable, and uh, we'll come back in tutorial 3 to cover some more basics of Blender 2.5.